Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate this hero section on your Web Studio website that automatically grows and shrinks with your viewport size as well as the content on your site. Now, diving into the builder, this is what we'll be creating today. A hero section with content inside that will automatically grow or shrink as your section grows. I'll show you this here with some extra padding. If I select my padding and I increase it or decrease it, you'll see that my section with the background video will automatically scale despite Vimeo's set aspect ratio. Let's recreate this together. We're going to start off with the structure. For the structure, I'm going to first add a box component and I will call this hero. Inside of this hero box is where all of our content and background video will be held. Now inside of this, I want two new boxes or divs. First one, I'm just going to call it content. This is where we will house all of our text and the extra images, call to actions or buttons. I'm also going to add a second box, which I'll just call background video. This box will contain a semi-transparent overlay as well as our actual video. Now I'm going to populate both of these with some sample content. So I'll just add a heading into my content as well as a paragraph. And then I'll add an extra box, which I'll call overlay as well as our Vimeo component. Now, to begin styling, I'm going to start off by selecting my hero instance in the navigator. For my hero, I'm just going to change its display to flex. I'm gonna center it. I'm going to change the overflow to be none or hidden, and I wanna set its position to relative. Next up, for our content box, I'm gonna select it again from the navigator. And for this one, I'm just going to add a Z index, which is the order in which things appear on your website. So this one, I'm gonna set it to two, and I'm gonna set the text to white which will make it a little bit easier to view and edit when it's over the top of the video. And let's also center that text. Now, for my background video, I'm gonna go ahead and select it from the navigator, and we're gonna give it some styling too. So for the background video, I want the min width to be 100%, the min height to be 100%, so that it's always full, width, full height in that box. I want to set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Now this is important because Vimeo forces 16 by nine aspect ratio on their videos. I want the overflow to be hidden and I want its position to be absolute. That covers the styling of our background video div. Now let's add styling to our overlay. For the overlay, I'm just going to do two things. I'm going to set a background color. So let's just make it semi-transparent dark or black. And I'm going to update its position to also be absolute, but this time I'm going to set all sides to zero. So you can do this by holding shift on your keyboard, and then just drag the properties. I'm just gonna drag them all to zero. I'm also going to set the Z index to one as I want it to be just above the video. And finally, I'm going to customize my video component. With the instance selected, I'm going to go ahead and remove the width size, remove the aspect ratio Web Studio gives, and just set it to be positioned as absolute. And again, holding shift, dragging all sides to zero. Now I want to configure the settings of this video. So again, with the instance selected, go into the settings panel. We're first going to input our video URL. Now this is any video URL that you can grab from Vimeo, whether it's one that you found on the platform or one that you've uploaded yourself. The quality, I'm going to set this one to full HD. So I want it to just be always nice and Quality. I want it to show a preview, so it will show a preview of the video as an image while the video is loading. I also want it to autoplay, I want it to be in background mode, I don't want it to track, I do want it to loop, I want it to be muted, I don't want to show the portrait, which is like the avatar or the profile on Vimeo, and I don't want to show any controls. On my Vimeo instance, I'm also going to expand this and go and find the spinner, because I want to hide the spinner, and the play button, because I also want to hide that. Now we can see on our page here, everything looks really small and pushed up to the top. And that's because we haven't adjusted any of the padding around our content. So I'm gonna head over to my content here. I'm going to select the instance from the navigator, jump back to styling, and let's start adding some padding. So I'm going to add 12 rem of padding to the top. Actually, let's expand that on top and bottom by holding Alt. So I'll just do 12 rem on both sides. And then I want two rem of padding on the left, which I'll also drag on both sides. I want to make the text a little bit bigger. So let's change this from two to, let's make it, let's say four rem. That seems like a good size. I might drag it a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. And let's just change this content to adventure 
awaits. And for the subheading, I'm just going to add, this is a fancy Vimeo video demo. And we can see if we change padding or the spacing, or we add extra content to this, the video will automatically grow to always cover the section. So if I just duplicated my paragraph here, you can see as the section grows, the video continues to automatically scale. Just undo what we just created. Now, finally, I think my overlay is probably a little bit too dark. So I'm going to just reselect my overlay from the navigator. I'm going to go to my background color and I'm going to adjust the opacity to be brighter. Once you're done, you can go ahead and preview and you can see what it looks like on your different device sizes. And when you're ready to publish, you can go ahead and publish. And that's it. That is how we create a background Vimeo using the Vimeo component on Web Studio. It will automatically fill and cover the section that you're working in to scale or grow with either the size of your content or the size of the viewport. Thank you very much for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest of Web Studio. And in the meantime, catch you in the next one. Ciao.